Well, if you're in a police station, you've either done something wrong or you're a victim. Either way, you're in trouble. I don't like being in trouble. <laughs> you don't. I'm joking, detective. This big smile on my face, the noise I was making, which some people call laughing. I'm just trying to lighten the mood a little bit. Well, you see, Detective Armstrong, he doesn't like to laugh about murder. But we appreciate your attempt to charm us a little bit. Murder, huh? This is about Fontaine. So, <clears throat> do you know Philip Fontaine? <clears throat> nope, can't say that I do. I mean, we might have met a couple of times, but I wouldn't say we were friends or anything. He probably wouldn't even remember me. So would you say your relationship with Ashley Fontaine was entirely professional? More detective. Are you asking that because of professional interest or for personal reasons? Just answer the damn question. No, we weren't just professional associates. So you'd say your relationship with Ashley Fontaine was on a more social basis? Yes. Her husband was often so busy with work, she was quite lonely. We would go to the movies or to dinner. I helped her watch her diet. So often we would make an outing of grocery shopping. Did her husband know about these outings, as you call them? As far as I know. Oh, so you're acknowledging that Mr. Fontaine knew about your affair with his wife? I acknowledge nothing of the sort. Would I catch your attention if I not only accused you of having an affair, but also of murder? Okay, that's not funny. I promise you I'm not trying to be funny. I didn't kill Philip Fontaine. You can accuse me of a lot of things, I'll grant you that. But I'm just trying to survive. Is that what you call it? Surviving? Mooching off women? Why are you attacking me this way? Surely you can look into my eyes and see I'm not a killer. I'm you know, I just thought of something. Fontaine was murdered, and there's a pretty big struggle. Now, Ashley Fontaine, the cheating wife, she stands to inherit all of his money, but there's not a scratch on her. But her big, strong, handsome, personal trainer boyfriend, he could easily take care of a 64-year-old. Stop that! I didn't do it! Tell us about Ashley and her involvement. I don't know. I just don't know anything about it. She didn't like her husband. We enjoyed our affair. The sex was great, but murder? I just don't know. You know, now that I think about it, she might have had a dinner. You're just making up stuff now. Trying to throw us on to Ashley Fontaine, you sleazy punk. You see us looking at you, and then all of a sudden, Ashley Fontaine is capable of murder. I was just saying that.